The following contest is a three-man over-the-top rope battle royal. With the winner earning a shot at the UWA Intercontinental Championship at UWA Adrenaline Rush in June. Introducing first, Derek Knight. Derek Knight making his way to the ring here. Derek Knight defeated X in the semifinal, but fell victim to Ozzy Lyons in the final of the tournament. Now Derek Knight will get in the ring once again with X in this battle royal, as well as the third participant, Eternal Darkness. Winner of this match challenges the clinic for the UWA Intercontinental Championship in June. Introducing the next participant, Eternal Darkness. Eternal Darkness is ready for action here. Eternal Darkness was a former uh, GWA Intercontinental Champion. And he actually failed to appear for Extreme Massacre 4 last year and was stripped of the title. Now he is looking to become an Intercontinental Champion once again, this time in the UWA. And the final participant, X. What's going on here? X is coming out with Ozzy Lyons' uh, UWA X Division Championship. X is not the X Division Champion. X. It's interesting, how did X get a hold of that championship belt from Ozzy Lyons? Is there some sort of... Does X want the X Division Championship? I think so. But now, X is fighting for a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. Three-man battle royal, over the top rope elimination rules. The last man left standing will challenge the clinic for the UWA Intercontinental Championship at UWA Adrenaline Rush. And everybody wants to go after the clinic. X has some history with the clinic. X faced the clinic in a classic match back in 2003 at MSW No Love Lost. And one has to think, actually, they actually faced off in two matches. Side by side, the clinic winning the last one through some underhanded tactics. And you have to think that X wants another shot at the clinic. After seven years, X may finally have another shot to face the clinic. Derek Knight and Eternal Darkness double teaming X now. Derek Knight also had a great feud with the clinic in 2008 and 2009. Eternal Darkness has never faced the clinic one on one. What happened here? X eliminated himself. X has been eliminated. That's one of the most unusual things we've ever seen. X intentionally eliminating himself. And now, X holding up that UWA X Division Championship held by Ozzy Lyons. We still don't know how he got a hold of that belt, uh, but he may be clearly signaling that he wants that belt. But X has given up his opportunity to face the clinic, has given up that opportunity uh, for that match, for a rematch from what happened seven years ago at MSW No Love Lost. And X, by the way, is banned from MSW after losing to Nate Dogg at Star K 2009 Tradition Defended. But now we focus on the two men in the ring, Derek Knight and Eternal Darkness. Big uppercut by Eternal Ooh. Darkness. Both of these men would definitely like a shot at the clinic and this UWA Intercontinental Championship. Derek Knight is, is already signed to face the clinic for the MSW World Heavyweight Championship and Into School Bash uh, next month. So Derek Knight could earn shots at both of the clinic's championships if he wins this battle royal. On the other hand, if Eternal Darkness wins, he will face the clinic one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. Whoa. Derek Knight just whipped Eternal Darkness so hard it snapped the top rope. And now, Derek Knight with a DDT on Eternal Darkness. In this situation, due to the fact that the top rope is, uh, that green top rope on this side is now down, on this side, the yellow rope will now serve as the top rope. 
And this could be very interesting because on one side, what? it's going to be a less of a height that you have to get your opponent over. Big pickup by Eternal Darkness. Takes him over the shoulder, which is going to be, oh. whoa, shoulder breaker. Follows it up with a, a pile driver. No pinfalls or submissions oh. here. However, oh. a submission hold by Eternal Darkness like this would be a, is a good strategy because it will weaken oh. Derek Knight and allow Eternal Darkness to more easily throw him over the top rope. You would have to think that the Battle Royal would favor Eternal Darkness because he has the strength and size to be able to throw Derek Knight over the top rope. However, Derek Knight has the quickness. Well, it's a moot point. Eternal Darkness has won this match. Eternal Darkness yeah. is your winner. Oh. Here is your winner, Eternal Darkness. Eternal Darkness, the winner. X eliminated himself. Eternal Darkness eliminated Derek Knight. Eternal Darkness now in June at UWA Adrenaline Rush will challenge the clinic for the UWA Intercontinental Championship. For the first time ever, at UWA Adrenaline Rush in June, the clinic versus Eternal Darkness one-on-one -on -one as Derek Knight and Eternal Darkness show respect to each other. Eternal Darkness emerges victorious here in this three-man battle royal. Some interesting developments in this battle royal, including the ones with X, but Eternal Darkness is your winner. Up next, the big main event for the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship as UWA Aftershock continues.